In today's video, I will be showing you how to delete and restore Steam game save files from the Steam Cloud. So also, we will be taking a look at the cloud status, saying out of sync as well, and then how to resync your game save files. So the first thing that I want to just say, I will also pop a link in the description below to a guide that we will do on other things that you can do when it comes to resolve cloud Steam game files not working correctly, or encountering issues and things like that. So it's definitely worth checking out that link. But I've also added two methods to the end of the video that you can do that can also help fix Steam Cloud not syncing issues. So the first game that we will be taking a look at is My Time at Samrock, currently saying that the cloud status is out of sync, as you can see right here. So basically this just means that changes from Steam Cloud have not yet been downloaded to this device, and that is correct. If I open up File Explorer, this is the location where the saved files for my time at Samrock should be stored, and there's currently nothing within this folder. If you look at the address, you might be thinking, why is it just a load of different random numbers? How did I figure out that this is the correct folder for my time at Samrock? So to find out the numbers that you need to use for the game that you're currently having cloud syncing issues with, you can do this by opening up your web browser and then just going to Steam and then searching for the game. Once you found the game, up in the address bar, you will notice the numbers. And as you can see here, it says 1084600. -600. So that is the My Time at Sandrock numbers that I needed to use in the user data folder. So if I go back to the user data folder, there's one random folder there, which is my user profile. If I then go into this folder, you can then see there's a list of loads of other random folders with numbers. So like I said on the web browser, it says there 1084600. -600. If I then go into that folder here, 4600, that's going to be the location where the save files will be restored to. So if I now sync up the cloud by clicking on out of sync and then clicking on retry sync, it's now going to download all my save files from the Steam cloud if I then open up that folder again, you can now see there's a remote folder. If I go into there, there's my saved files. I can then just simply delete this folder if I want. And if I then want to restore them again, I can go back to Steam. I can then right click on my time at Samrock, go to properties, and then click onto the general, and then untick keep games saves in Steam Cloud for my time at Samrock, just click off of that. You can now see that the Steam Cloud is now gone. If I then right click on it and go to properties and then tick this option again and then go back, you can now see that I've got the cloud icon. If I then click on out of sync and then retry sync, it will now begin to download those files again and you can see it's there. And if I go in, I have now restored my saved game files from the Steam Cloud. So I'm now going to show you this again with another different game because basically the location of the save data can be different for each game. So you might need to Google where the game that you're currently trying to restore the save data for is stored on your computer. So for example, if I open up File Explorer again, I currently now got the Ryzen. So again, this is stored in users and then your user profile, app data, local low, and then Stunlock Studios. There's also loads of other games in the local low, as you can see here. So if I go into here, and I'm just now going to right click on Fee Rising and go rename, and then go BK. So I would recommend that instead of deleting the folder, you just actually rename them to BK. Once you've done that, again, you can go back to Steam, find the game, so I've got Fee Rising here, right click on it, it still says that it's up to date at the moment, but that will change. If I go to properties, and then go to general and then untick this option here. If I then click close and then right click on it and go to properties and then tick the option again, you can now see that it says the cloud status is out of sync. So again, if I open up File Explorer, in a second, these folders are going to be restored from the Steam Cloud. If I now click onto it and go retry sync, if I quickly open that, you can now see that the folders are being downloaded. So there we go, Fee Rising has now been restored with the cloud saves. So once again, we will take a look now at one more game, which is Planet Zoo, 
and that again is in another location. So this is in the saved games location. So as you can see, I already done a folder there, but we got saves there and currently the size for this folder is 63 meg. If I cancel that and rename it and then just put BK onto the end. And then if I go back to Steam, find Planet Zoo, right click onto it and go to properties. If I now go to general and then untick this option, close that down again, right click on it again and go to properties. You probably don't need to keep closing it down, but I'm just doing that just to give it a nice refresh. Tick this option. You can now see there's that sync. Click onto there and go retry sync. If I now go back to here, you can see that the folder's now been downloaded. It's still actually currently downloading. There we go, that's finished. If I now right click on the new folder, you can see that it's 63 meg, which is the same as the original folder. And it's got six files in it again. So that is how you delete a Steam game save on your Windows computer and then restore the game save files from the Steam cloud. If you do come across an awkward saved game location, then feel free to share it in the comments below to help out everyone else as they might also be struggling to find the location for that saved game data. Also, if you are having issues with the whole syncing up with the cloud, like I said at the start of the video, I will also pop a link in the description below to a guide which I will add methods to that will hopefully help resolve those cloud issues. But something you can do straight away is just reinstall Steam as it might be Steam has become glitched for some reason on your Windows computer. So giving Steam a reinstall can help resolve many issues when it comes to the Steam client playing up in Windows. Another thing that you can also do is just ensure that your security software is not blocking Steam. So usually if you're just using the standard Windows Defender security, you shouldn't have any problems. But if you have installed a third party security program, then it could be blocking the Steam client, which would then stop it from being able to sync up and download from the Steam cloud. So that's gonna cause you issues. So what you can do is you can either disable your security software, but just keep in mind, you might not be protected from security threats if you do this. But by doing that, you can then test out and see if you can then sync up with the Steam cloud. And if you can, then you know you need to add an exception into the security program. Another option is a lot of security programs these days also have a game mode or a passive mode. So you could try enabling that option if you do have that setting available to then test out Steam again and see if you can sync up with the cloud safe. So I hope this video really helped you out and you enjoyed it. If you did like the video, click the like button below. And if you'd like to see another computer sluggish video, then click that subscribe button. If you do subscribe, then I will see you in the next video.